All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Minority Pod to the newest episode with my beautiful Wait. greatest lawyer in the world. There he is. What up, what up, what up, what up? Mustafa Hawili. What up? Okay. Uh, to our well, well brought out Thurgum Al Shira, the one one guest everyone's been asking to come the on. Like, hey, how come I, the Thurgum? highly anticipated, the highly Al-Shira. anticipated people have been Thurg- asking about me? Yeah, people were like, how come you have No, even just close friends, like, hey, how come you haven't brought Thurg on that? Walla Kel's captain. Like one or two people. Kel's no, no one asked for <laughs> and, the, uh, and then the other uh, co host, myself, uh, Khalid Bazi. Okay, so before we get started with the episode, let's go ahead and uh, go and talk about. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the button around here, guys. We get a decent amount of views, and uh, no one wants to subscribe because there's yeah. a bunch of boaters. Um, merch is available, and if you want to sponsor an episode, uh, just go ahead and reach out, and we'll go ahead and get something going. So today's episode for the first sponsor is Charlie's Construction. Guys, everyone's buying, home, uh, buying homes right now. Real estate agent. Everyone's buying homes right now, and, uh, and, uh, and the people in Dearborn always want to renovate. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a known thing you're going to run up every time you buy a home. And, I mean, Charlie's your man. Everyone knows this. Charlie's the guy. He's the best in the business. I'm not even saying that. You got to listen to me. Go to his Instagram, Charlie uh, Charlie's uh, underscore construction. Go through all his pages. He's actually a cool contractor to follow because uh, he goes through all the process of what he does to every house and what people did in the past. He's the best in the business. Go, guys. Support him. Um, contact him for a quote. He's amazing. All his information We'll be in the link in the bio, okay? Yeah. Anything he's else? No, the guy's really a magician, man. He's a mo- it's always he's a impressive. I love watching I his videos. Too. He's You're, no, he's, I'm not even like, joking. He's a yeah. monster. Okay, so uh, for the people that are wondering who the hell is Thurg Amashera and why do we have someone like this guy on, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Thurg, and talk a little bit closer to the mic. Yeah, there you go. So uh, I'm an engineer. Your long name time is Thurg Amashera. Thurg Amashera, obviously. You already introduced me twice. Yeah. But uh, long-time friends of these guys. Grew up with Cal, who we leave the older brother of ours. Um, I'm an electrical engineer. I work, uh, you know, as a systems engineer. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me hold this up. This guy is an electrical engineer. The reason why we brought him on is he does a lot in the community, right? He's an electrical engineer. Uh, at, actually, we're not going to say the exact name. So electrical engineer, he's a personal trainer, and he is a real estate agent at Keller Williams. Anything else I'm missing? That sums it up. He does all three careers uh, in one, and people want to wonder, how the hell do you have time for anything, especially something like this? Honestly, it's just uh, managing your time. Uh, I'm a big uh, advocate for uh, you know, being disciplined and waking up early and you know, making sure you schedule out your day. Don't get me wrong. Some days I can't fit in everything I try to put out there, but you know, I find, th- find a way to make Close it happen. Mind. Um, so when, how much times a day do you get people that, oh, how do, how do you fit the gym or how do you do this? How do you do that? Do you just be like, just stop being lazy? I mean, that, that honestly, like there is a point to that. Like a lot of people, we all have 24 hours. I mean, if you wake up, I do wake up sometimes at four o'clock and I get my lift in early in the day. We're all, you know, advocates. For I, did the gym. For a, I did that for a little. No, and you set your day right. Like you even go to work, like you're upbeat. Know you're live and you're ready to go to work. You ever so try that, Hawili? What? Four thirty in the morning schedule. Four thirty in the morning is a little tough. I've done like <laughs> five five thirty six o'clock, but four. In the fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Why what would time, I want to? What time do you have to get to work? Uh, depending on what days I have court. So even if so, the earliest I would ever have court would be eight thirty in the morning, right? And if I have like a trial or like uh, you know a basic hearing at, and let's say I have to prepare for it, I didn't prepare that well. I'd wake up like at six a.m. I pre- you know I do I'd wake up breakfast coffee, prepare go to trial right. Um, if there's days where it's like, you know, I get to just wake up and go lift and I didn't have like a shit day the day before and, you know, I didn't get to bed too late, I'll be up like at like six o'clock. I'll wake up, go get a lift, I'll be at the office by nine. The reason why I like doing it in the morning is because nobody's going to call you. Cal ain't going to call you to FaceTime. Maddie's not going to call you about <laughs> a loan. At 4 a.m., nobody's up and you're going to get your lift in. There's no excuse. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I feel especially that. Especially now, like as a father, you like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. When you have you know, priorities with your daughter or with, Hundred percent, hundred percent. Like eventually, they're gonna take up your evenings. Let me ask you this though, bro. So, the engineer, I understood. You know, you went to school, you got your engineering degree, and you know, it kind of comes with the, uh, you know, the degree. Uh, the uh, the built with grit, working out your passion. We can obviously see that. Where'd the real estate trend come from? So, real estate is uh, obviously uh, something that I got into uh, during my career at as an engineer. I was okay. sitting at my desk, and I was like, 
I probably don't want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. So I got to figure out more avenues to you know diversify my income. Mm-hmm. So I started listening to Bigger Pockets. It's a yeah, podcast yeah. that everybody should that, yeah. be listening to. Um, they have great insight, great information. And, uh, you know, they talk about investing and how people have cash flow about yeah. $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month just from rental properties. Yep, yep, yep. So I started reading books, reading on real estate, and I actually got into investing first before uh-huh. I got my real estate license. Um, bought my family's house and bought a house in my name mm-hmm. for my family, you know, to help them out and also set myself up as well. And I kind of pay out my family as, you know, I get income from the rental. Right, 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 right. And then... Um, I decided, you know, why am I, you know, having people negotiate on my behalf when I have the knowledge, you know, from all these books, from these podcasts, from these videos I've been watching. I was like, might as well negotiate for myself and also save myself some cash. Get the license. And then get my license. Right, right. So every, so there's two two things I want to mention. So every engineer I know, especially actual engineers, I'm not going to go that route yet. Uh, none of them, okay, none of them like their job, and some do. No, some, some guys are passionate for it, man. And, and then I majority, I in, I yeah, I, and majority in Dearborn uh, end up doing something on the side, and that takes over their thing. I haven't met an engineer that doesn't do real estate on the side. No, I mean, whether it's real estate or something else, like as an engineer or even any corporate job, you're 40 hours and you're out. Sometimes you're 45, 50, let's say. You have another 30, 40 hours, you could do your what you're passionate about. Would you say you had more than uh, more time on your hands from engineering? I mean, when COVID happened, you know, a lot of things pushed remote. Uh, I could say I definitely uh, added some more time to my day. A little bit more time to your day. And then, yeah, because right now, everyone in, in their <sighs> – a lot of people are doing real estate, a real estate agency. Okay, so – I think it's the gateway <sighs> – You know, here's the thing. I also don't think it's for everybody. I, I agree with yeah. – that's exactly the problem, right? It's not for everybody. People are making it seem like it's for everybody. What yeah, the like real think, estate? Oh, you know, like if I real can just estate, get a get, bro, I, I take it from me, bro. I mean, I, I can't respect. I'm um, sorry. Um, there's nothing more I respect than somebody going out and chasing their hustle. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to make more money, do you make your money? If it's real estate, whatever the fuck it is, you know what I mean? But I've never seen lately such a saturated market. There are oh, so true. many real estate agents out there, bro. It's like every every corner you turn, and then here's what's crazy. And you're not the only one that has, you know, I guess. Well, I, let me ask you this before I go into my point. Do you do you consider yourself a real estate agent first and engineer second, or you still consider yourself an engineer first, real estate agent second? So, right now, I promote myself as a real estate engineer. I mean, a real estate agent. Why? Real estate engineer sounds nice, agent. bro. <laughs> what up? I do not promote myself as a real estate engineer. But a real estate agent, just because that's something you can market, right? Like, if, I, if I tell people, oh, I'm an engineer, it's like, yeah. I'm not going to benefit. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right? So, but I am an engineer first, right? And then a right. real estate agent next, right? Um, so like with m- with me, it's like okay, like I literally know attorneys that quit the legal business to go into the real estate, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it is what it is. If that's what's happy, that's what you know. That's what that's what's gonna bring you happiness. That's what's making you money. That's what's paying the bills. So be it. But lately, maybe because of the housing trend, especially the housing trend, because I know I know now the interest rates are back up. Yeah. But I knew like what last year, year and a half ago. If you were investing in homes, you were doing something wrong. Like, that was the time. Yeah, even normal home buyers. Yeah. You owned a house. Yeah. You made money. 100%. So, like, I understand why the real estate <coughs> trend. But what I'm, like, what, now what I'm starting to notice is a lot of people that went into it during, like, the COVID. I'm going to call it the COVID era. They're starting to dip out. Like, they're kind of leaving the field. And they're 100%. going to go back to what they were doing before. And then you have the people that made money in it and they realize it's what they like. They're kind of staying in it. I feel like that's where you are now. Yeah. Because, I, mean, I mean, you've been a real estate agent for a minute. It he's good, too. Yeah, yeah. He's doing no, he well. I mean, especially, yeah, yeah. like... No, he likes it. You know, it's yeah. passion. It's different. Yeah. I think you definitely have to have a passion. And also, like like I said, it's not for everybody. Just because, like, you got to be a people's person. Man, there's some... No, bro, it's a... Dude, it's a hustle. Yeah. No, you literally have to be a hustler. Like, that's how it is. You, you have to know how to talk. Like, I feel like yeah. a lot of real estate agents ruined it for everybody because, like, they're such assholes. Yeah, yeah, Oh, it's I can like, only imagine. I can only imagine. I guess more so just because... Their livelihood depends on it. And yeah. me coming from a place where, like, I have steady income outside of real estate. Yeah, you kind of take your um, time. Be they chill hate guys like yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, they do, honestly, <coughs> just because, I don't know, like, it's more so, like, it's a plus more so than a rely. Like, obviously, like, it's everybody should, you know, go out there and earn their stuff. But, like, some people are just pushing and forcing. and Yeah, so the biggest like, thing is, uh, the r- like, okay, so Cal Harani was supposed to be on this episode, right? Shalakhan, uh, what happened to him? 
We're not going to announce on air. He's just going, right. uh, he's, he's, he's a little sick. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right. it, it, he's one of the guys, his story was for, he became a real estate agent and then uh, he he went to a home, okay? Okay. And uh, the number one thing, me and him, and I tell Thurig, pushers. Let's say I was a real estate agent, right? I barely know you. You walk into the house, well, love, this house is not for you. They just want to get you off their hands. No, so they're trying they'll to make the sale. Trying to make the sale. Get yeah. off their hands. Be like, yeah. hey, one yeah, yeah, move on to the next guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. The, the number one thing is, bro, you're bullshitting just to get a sale. Okay. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of them in Dearborn. I know people that literally, like, they, they witnessed that and they went switch to another agent. There's a lot of them. And there's the ones uh, that straight up tell you, hey, I don't think this is real. Or this. They'll, they'll stick with you through the whole process. They want to get the right house for you. And then they, then they leave. obviously, they sell. And then I think that's worth it. Yeah. And then there's people like, the way I try to sell this guy in Kale is, um, hey, he doesn't need the money. Like, he's doing this on the side, and uh, he's not going to push you. That's what I tell people. And then they hear that, they're like, oh, this guy's not a no, full-time I mean, guy. They feel it, like, working. Like, Kale's as well, like, I can advi- like advocate for him. I mean, I went with him for my first, uh, you know, purchase. Yeah. Uh, he was my agent before I got my license. And it's like, you feel the sincerity, right? 100%. Like, you don't 100%. feel like You don't feel like you're like, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 the, they're not Yeah, you're not a you. deal. Yeah, 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 yeah like You're not a deal. Yeah. I mean, for themselves, I feel. 100%. Like it's, it's more so, like... You want this? Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get you what you want. Right, right. And that's, that's how it should be. Something where you're gonna be disappointed three months later and you're gonna, sh- you, you know, crap talk the agent that just worked with you. You see, here's the thing. It's not. I don't think it's an issue of the career. It's an issue of the position, right? Whenever you deal at the end of the day, real estate attorneys, retail stores, these people are salesmen. You're s- in real estate, just like the attorney, you're selling yourself. Yeah, but think Why about it. Why go with me? No, I'm serious. With the retail no, store, you yeah, that, you rip them no, off a couple of this this is, Yeah, yeah no, but, but Kel, I'm trusting you because I deal with this in the legal field. And attorneys do this shit all the time. Okay, so let me bring up this point. I've heard stories like this where the, the, the very uh, knowledgeable real estate agent will see something wrong with the house. And then they'll look at the, they're like, oh, it's no big deal. Oh, it's no big deal. Oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Oh, and then they find out three months later. I actually talked to a real estate agent last week. He told me um, someone six months, I think it was like a year down the road, he called him. He's like, why is my house flooding? Okay, hear me out for a minute. Now, yeah, hear me you, out. Okay. You again. also like, can't blame a real estate agent. Yeah, yeah, because you need an inspector, that. right? I, I, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. But okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? Again, I'm not saying everyone out there is a scumbag. But I'm saying, if you're trying to make the sale, if this, if let's say for example, uh, the you home gotta push s- a little bit, hundred percent. I say the home six hundred thousand dollars, and you know there's an issue with the house, bro. If you're if you're saying to make fifteen twenty grand, you're really gonna tell the guy there's an issue, don't buy this house if he's gonna buy it. Most people are not gonna do that, bro. I ethics would. aside, so it's you better also like some people are push over, bro. Ethics right? aside, so like they'll go on, they'll take a person to fifty homes, knowing damn well they're not gonna buy a home. Yeah, that's Kel, true. That's, Here, that's wasting your that's time. That's how too. it is, Kel. I I I I know attorneys. They have put clients in their office, and they've told them, hey, the, the guy is looking at five years. Literally, and there's nothing they can do about it. Sometimes you're just dead to rights. And you lie to them? And they will tell them, hey, I'm going to get you one year. I'm going to get you probation. You just pay me this money today. I'm going to take you. You think that's you. right? They take Absolutely it's wrong. I exactly. don't say it's right. I get, but I'm not... But hear me out, bro. I'm not supporting the real estate agent for doing this. I'm saying this is what you get with salesmen sometimes. This is what they do. This is what they do. No, you got to be a little bit of no, a... No, no, scumbag? no, 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 Not a scumbag, no, like no, don't hear me. No, don't get me wrong. There's a fine line between being shady and being a hustler. Yeah. There is. Okay. If, if you're, <clears throat> I, I believe any person can sell themselves properly without being shady about it. If you, you do it the right way. If you do it the right way. That's, that's what I mean by not being shady. For example, if you're my boy and I stand to make 30 grand on a home, but I know the home's fucked from the bottom up and I sit there and tell you, it's fine. Don't even get the inspector. You're going to trust me because I'm your boy yeah. and you go do it. You end up getting fucked. Yeah. It's obviously I'm a shady guy. I made 30 grand, but what did that cost me? My reputation, you know, my, uh, our friendship. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah. our friendship. Yeah. Like my insan. It's like, that's to me, that's worth more than the money, but some people don't look at it that way. They just don't. Yeah. And, uh, bro, I just, I always told Doug, I wish I could do, I wish I could become a real estate agent. Cause I know a lot about the house, but the thing is I don't have time. Right, that's the thing. Like, especially now, like you I'm gotta be on right now, call like, with these guys. Yeah, I just yeah, we just said it. The market is saturated, bro. You, there is a real estate. I mean, think about it now, bro. I've never seen so many real estate firms in my life. It's insane. They're everywhere, bro. And also, They're like nuts. obviously piggybacking off real estate, the lenders. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's a bunch of lenders. Oh now. yeah, oh yeah. Everybody's opened up a broker. I think it's like okay, you know why? Because put it together, okay. What was the biggest trend from 2013 to 2019, Sorry. 2020 trend? Quicken Loans. What went down the railings in the last year? 
Year and a half. Five, six months, yeah. Five, six months. Quicken Loans went off the thing. So everyone that was at Quicken, every single person I know right now but that Quicken, left Quicken. Quicken is actually, like, trying to control that. Control it, yeah. But the number one, every I haven't met one person that left Quicken in the last five years. And didn't, didn't, and do, didn't do, do real estate. Uh, didn't do mortgage. Every single person left them. Bro, it comes from Farhat to Cooter to... Ev- Mahdi, every yeah, single one left and started their own thing because they know how much money is in it, right? Not even just about the money. What else are you really... I mean, hear me out. They if realize you, they can provide more to their people too. And they get yeah. out of quick. Yeah. I mean, bro, if you worked for arguably one of the best mortgage lending companies in the world... Do you know the ins out. Do you know the ins and outs. You're yeah. going to do the job better than anybody is. Exactly. This is how it is. No, I'm not truth. saying anything's wrong with that. No, and nothing wrong with that. Real estate agent. Yeah. Real estate, it's... Uh, if to me, I'm looking at it, it's like, oh, it's like the new Quicken. And what people think, though, it's peop- I know people are going so to because there's so much money. Everybody exactly. loves me, and that's where people go wrong too. They think everybody's just gonna go to them the just because pro- I know. If I didn't know yeah. Ferg and Kale, I can literally name five other agents but I could have went th- to. This is the thing. It's this is, me this too. is I mean, all of our friends. Yeah. They're all agents. This is what's dangerous with this market is a lot of the people that you think you would target for this kind of business already has somebody. Seriously, yeah. Especially uh, uh, your well, that's, that's what separates the good ones from the like the right, greats, right? Shifting over, it's yeah. You got to shift towards people that you don't know. Exactly. And that's, that, that's what they teach right. us too. Like Mike always one hundred and fifty percent. Mike always says, like, right? You know, your the sphere. Okay, maybe you can start off with it, but then after that, to like separate yourself. You How do you build a book of business? You have to build it. You got to go to hundred percent farm. Bro, and it's, you know, it's, start it's start crazy. Bro, I own a law firm in the city of Dearborn. You think half the people in the city already don't like don't have an attorney? Like you have to build connections. That's like how your it is. cousin has a cousin. That's a lawyer. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's how it works. No, for real. Everybody that I, bro, for example, a lot of my friends, close friends, that have issues, I'm, I'm not shy to say it. Most of them don't come to me. They already have an attorney they've been using, and I don't, I don't blame them. I'm not, I don't get upset. If somebody doesn't come to me. I don't give a fuck who you go to for your legal work. You yeah. know, that's I mean, what's great. Like, I, there's some people though that they would do. They'd get upset. Yeah. yeah, I just don't care. At the end of the day, I know what services I provide. If you ever come to me, I know what I'm able to provide for you. Yeah, you, know? you have your value. Right, but you have to be able on your own. To get out there, I mean, it's part of the hustle. It's part of the grind. It's part of the job. Yeah, you know, if you're out there, if you're the good thing about real estate, the great thing about real estate is you can you're not limited. Yeah. You you bro, the only limits Especially are the ones you ones. yeah, the only caps are the ones you have on yourself. Literally, if you go out there and you hustle and you go and you, you, you do what and you everything, do, bro, you're gonna That's make what your attracts money. a lot of people. Too, bro, right? bill, yeah. no cap. a lot of people, you know, I'm telling you, if I did not know Thurg and Kale, I wouldn't have another shoe grab another real estate agent. Yeah, we per, we personally know. I can literally name ten right off the bat that I know for a fact I could have called. Instantly. Oh, yeah. And it would have been normal. Yeah. I've used two agents myself. Yeah, you used you know? Nimi and uh, what's his name? Nimi, well, I've used uh, Cal. Cal Harani, yeah. And obviously it's then I got my own license. But yeah, but yeah. like I'm t- bro, even like someone like Billy Soap, he, he just got it. Alhamdulillah, he's killing it. Oh, mm-hmm. Billy's a beast. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, a 100%. It takes time. But at the end of the day, bro, when you're passionate about something, you're, you're working butt in and butt out. With anything. The in life. money and the success will come. You yeah. just have to be patient. Patience is the hard part. So I stepped, I didn't step in, but I, I got, I got interested into real estate well, in 2020, right? And it's literally been taking over my life since 2020. That's all we talk about. It's all me, him, and Kel talk about 24 seven. It's real estate, like literally. And at one point, I was calling, Kel, I was asking him questions, and uh, I think it's awesome when I find another real estate agent. I love talking with him because I, like, I just like, like the market and everything, how it is, and uh, I don't You're know. I'd be surprised with all the knowledge you have. Yeah, and then and and in real estate, I don't know. I just love the real estate agent and uh, agency in Dearborn. I love everyone's doing it, but like. Um, it's it's a nice career, I think. A- again, it's. Yeah. I mean, you don't technically got to be an agent to you know, be in it. Like no, no, you don't. Real estate just investing just is a huge yeah. Yeah. thing. I advocate for everybody. Like, you don't technically got to get your license. Like, no, not at all. You, you get don't. four or five properties, and you, you realize the difference. That's your pension. Hundred percent. That alone yeah, will be your we, pension. Yeah, uh, we we do a lot of um, we do a lot Lease of management work. No, no, for us, like at our firm, uh, a part of our uh, a part of our practice is like business. Uh, and our business real estate. So we have a lot of people that have these LLCs that have multiple properties under them. These they're not they're not real estate agents. They're just your normal Joe Schmoes that just go out, they buy property, they they, they renovate you it, guys they rent the it out, LLC they for it. them. We create the LLC, we manage their properties, we draft up I the lease them. agreement. Yeah, I'll, no, get, we, I'll get the whole wheel. No, we literally do it all. So like the way it works is like this. So you'd have somebody that has a lot of money, right? They'll come and be like, Hey, listen, I'm looking to invest in property. I'll be like, Listen, I can't help you in locating some property <laughs> to invest in. That's not my job. Hey, hey. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so I would ship them over to somebody. I would know. Or if they already have the property, they say, hey, listen, I have like four or five tenants. I don't know how the, I don't have enough time to deal with this shit. So we would draft up the lease agreements. Yeah. We draft up any and all purchase agreements that they need, you know, if they want to flip the house, especially when they're doing cash deals. Uh, we would do, uh, you know, the evictions if they need to do the evictions because it's a lot of work, bro. Like, w- w- like for you guys, especially you guys, because you guys are investors too. So as you know, the first step is always buying the house. 
dealing with it and dealing with the tennis and all this shit. Yeah, it can that's be a, a, it whole can be a disaster. That's, that's, yeah. that's what keeps a lot of people away, too. Exactly. You know how many people I've <laughs> had come into my office after I do, like, an eviction for them and tell me, yo, I'm selling the house. I'm getting the fuck out of the market. I don't want to be a landlord anymore. I think that's, bro, like, people tell me, like, every time I talk to, like, a, someone that has rentals, they're like, oh, no, it's not worth it. In the back of my mind, like. You know why? It's, it's not like, worth it for them. Because they they're trying, to, they're trying to do everything themselves. Right. Yeah. That's, that's the, the reason. Problem. Like, yep. if you have four, five, five six, let's say, ten, pro- some of these guys have 20 properties. Mm. If you try to do everything yourself, you won't have the time. Yeah, for now, I am doing everything myself. Yeah, yeah but, bro, you have, you have how many properties do you have? Your belt, two. Right? You have two properties. Bro, well, I, three, yeah. consider that, yeah. Bro, I represent a doctor that has 35 properties. Exactly. And that's commercial, residential, both. He has four different attorneys, not only me. Like, he needs multiple law firms Jeez. to manage different things. It's a lot, bro. Think about it. Imagine, put it this way. Imagine, inshallah, one day you're going to open up a badass eating cooling company. Yeah. You're going to run that full time. You're going to have all this investment. Where the hell are you going to have time yeah, to I run around? You know, I told my Where? mom, like, my mom would so be like, hired uh, the right people, right? <laughs> exactly. I told, my, I told my mom, I'm like, uh, just whenever, whenever the time is, you'll manage the property. Like the percentage is a good shit. It's, it's a lot. I can of imagine work. my mom, but if she gonna has to like start working, I no, no. It's, it's, it's I'll tell my mom work, work one day bro. a week and just collect all that. <laughs> it's really underestimated. No, how much I got it. You can send quick. No, yeah, in the LLC, I got it. This guy, you both, of you guys lecture me about it. Uh, you need to LLC. do it. Yeah, you have to. I still don't have it for real. You, so sh- I gotta you should. It you have to do it, man. Because last time I if anything happens, you don't want to be sued personally, bro. Like it's. You know what's actually a great thing? I do want to bring up Hamid Dukub on. For what states and trusts? Wills. Yeah, I talk to him a lot. <laughs> bro, yeah. you know how much people reach out? Like, I always talk about, bro, I don't got a will, I don't got a will. That's something that's huge in the community that needs to get involved. Listen, a lot of, like, the auto in our community are making a lot of money, and like, they have yeah. to t- show the government where it's going. I would I, 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 I'm, again, I'm not going to speak on Hamid's behalf. I'm sure one day we'll have him on here. He can talk about Great it. Great marketing, that guy. Great I marketer. I slogan, and I don't um, But I, I think he'd be the first to agree that sometimes, uh, most of the time, wills are legit useless. Really? Trust are the way to go. Actually, we'll wait until he comes yeah, out. Yeah, I'll wait until he comes out. You'll, we'll, 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 you'll, you'll hear the difference from him. But, like, this, this is from him and I when we had personal conversation. I'm not saying they're completely useless, but obviously, you know, he's a professional. I'm sure he'd recommend the trust. All right, guys, we'll be right back, all right? We'll take a quick break. And we're back. Okay, so uh, go over some topics. I, I think we barely scratched the surface. So we're not going to touch real estate agent anymore, even though. I mean, it wasn't really real estate. It's more of, like, just, like, the in interesting general. shit that comes yeah, with it. Yeah, what's going on right now? But if you want a real estate agent. He's right here. If you want to, hey, are you, by the way, are you, are you accepting clients for personal training right now? I actually got four clients I'm starting up next month. I'm oh, no shit. Sure. Are you buying time and making that? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it happen, bro. You wanna, if you're just uh, lazy and you don't want to, you want to uh, go into the, you want a personal trainer, this guy's your guy. Male this guy. Male that only. called you lazy for wanting a personal trainer. <laughs> what a client. If you're lazy no, it's not and for you lazy, don't want. It's not for lazy people. It's actually, for, you're doing the opposite. For people that want to make a change. Well, if you were lazy and you want to stop being lazy, <laughs> go to your work. This guy's the All right. Uh, some fit people that get, actually get trained. Like yeah, 100%. Even sometimes golfers. I think about like – Golfers. About, you, love, you guys love golf. <laughs> Every golfer has a professional trainer. Yeah. Really? Yeah, 100%. Even myself, I Bro, sometimes I see these guys. I'm like, I want to get a trainer. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's how fitness. it is. It's crazy. Bro, even – what's his name? That guy that uh, – the guy that plays Thor. Doesn't he have a personal trainer? Chris, of course. Those guys, are, the, the, those guys have – All right, all right. right this guy's cock, so why are you talking shit? The no, that's the not the point. Those guys are paid a lot of money to get in a physique in a short amount of time. Well, you that's can always learn something from someone. Okay, you know what? Of course. Okay, you know what? What if somebody wants to get, you know, You know, fresh? my bad, bro. My bad. Yeah, say sorry, Thurg, bro. You want to train me, bro? I got yeah, you, train baby. Kel. Me and Thurg have been together. Me and, small. Me, and, me and Thurg have literally been working out since we were 13 years old together. Yeah. Go far back. But Cal used to drink protein like this in my backyard. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I couldn't take it. I still can't I think he still drinks it like that. No, I actually drink that green smoothie thing. It's even worse. But I'm good now. Uh, you, you only male, male only, right? What you don't train women? Not at the moment, but my wife will soon. All right, that's a good answer. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, um, okay, so uh, a couple weeks ago we did um, we did a trial for uh, uh, anonymous Ask FM. So basically, that was reckless. It was not reckless. I don't understand. People were thinking it was reckless. Some so of the questions were reckless. Oh, well, the questions were. Re- oh, the I, questions I, were. Bro, there are half the questions we didn't reveal. You should have. Yeah, seen out of the two hundred questions we answered, I only answered like. Like barely a hundred of them, eighty or something. Yeah, like not I even like seventy questions. Yeah. Yeah, like, man, people were savages. I have no. messages that were like, "Oh, that's way across the line." But then there was some where I was posting. I'm like, man. So when I put up like three weeks ago, or, or yes, two months ago, I put up, "Hey, ask a question. We'll answer on air." Nothing because there was a name behind it. Mm. Okay? People no. love to hide behind the curtain. The second I put anonymous, ask it a blew fam, up, huh? 
It, I swear to God, am I exaggerating? I was getting messages till five in the morning. Uh, I believe it. I'm like, what? Remember what? That I'm like, what are you school? doing? Yeah, ask if I was. Di- this is different. A little yeah. different. Well, but uh, that was savage. <laughs> but I was like, what? Are you crazy? I woke up. I'm like, bro, there was so much messages. A lot were great questions. A lot of them were good, and ones were just cussing me out, uh, calling us donkeys, and you know, just normal. Yeah, stuff yeah, that's, like that's that. common. Uh, and then the ones that were just uh, really good questions, and I would love to see who wrote them in. No shot. Why do you think these sh- these questions aren't getting sent? Like, how come there's these guys are that scared to ask these kind of questions? I mean, some people just want to be anonymous, man. Yeah. So it's 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 the freedom of the way they're written, though. It's like it's, it's, uh, you seem passionate about this. Question. Yeah, hundred percent. But bro, some people don't. Some I people mean, don't want to put yeah, on blast either. <laughs> exactly right. Some people might have an opinion. Right, people. Some people, bro. Some people just don't want you to have a you know like form an opinion on them based on what they're asking. It's very common. Oh, yeah, we got great like questions. We got creepy ass questions too. Like, who the hell would even send ask them? Let's do it. Go through them. No, like, okay. So Bring them up. By I'm the curious. way, by the way, this is something we're gonna do in the future. Uh, starting next week, we're gonna do a Ask FM f- for about three days, two days, and uh, we're gonna take the top ten questions. And every episode, we're gonna answer them on the air. Okay. So uh, it gets the crowd uh, back and forth, and uh, these questions are good. So look at these ones, right? This one is, damn it, there's so much. Just go, just go through uh, which ones you want. Anyone. Someone's like, Islam is not the only religion to put on your podcast. Yeah, but that's not a is. question, it's a statement. Moving on. Oh, the most of these are statements. Uh, what about this one? Should I read this one or no? <laughs> that's, 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 that's not a question, that's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Well, it depends who's doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't even know about these. Um, basically, it's like, all right, are y'all religious? Not hating if you guys are. Not hating if you guys aren't. Well, I, in my opinion, I, I don't. I don't know what the definitions of religious yeah. is. So that's what I was gonna say. Right? Simply following the five pillars of Islam, in my opinion, it's not that. It's not religious. It's what do you, you consider religious? Not. Wh- wh- what do you consider religious? I think everyone is like. For me, somebody who's. I don't even like the word religious, bro. I, I hate that word. I don't. I hate that word. I just, I just like what religion. Y- y- no, it's not I even just. I just, I, so I just don't like the word religious. Like, I, I, devout is better. Someone who's devout, right? But religious is because religious can mean so many different things. I think Some people hide uh, behind religion. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. They'll be like, "Oh yeah, I'm religious," just because. Yeah, but what does that mean pillars. to you? Right, reality, exactly. Right. They're not. They're not. They're not, they're they're not, they're not good people. No, they're yeah. just not good people. <laughs> Right, I straight ass. To yeah, me. I always, I always complain to Thurg Excuse about this. I always complain to Thurg about this. Like when someone literally labels themselves, especially labels themselves as religious, I instantly think, all right, this guy's a clown. I, I don't like that. No, word. it's they, not when they look down on the others. Yeah, just because let's say they are, you know, I guess by religious standards or Islamic standards, religious. They're religious, right? Yeah. They no, when they, they label can look themselves. down on others, even if. Like if someone else does, but, okay. But here's the thing. Here's 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 my issues with all this, okay? And I know we're getting a little off topic, but okay, no. here's the thing. Why, since, <laughs> even if you were to look down on somebody, right? Yeah. Since when did the, it's just unfortunate that, like, the standard is, I'm religious, therefore I can look down. Like, even if you are the most religious human being in the world, right? Let's just say, just use the word religious. Say the most devout Muslim Christian, you know, Jew, whatever the fuck it is, right? What makes you, no, seriously, like, what, just because you are that person, why, why, why is it okay to look down on somebody? Like, what, you know what I mean? Like, what's so special about you? At the end of the day, we're if all human beings. If you truly were more religious, more devout, you wouldn't look down on anyone. Exactly. That's exactly, right? You'd be if more human. If you're the most learned or if you are the most skilled, you're never going to talk down on anybody. It's always the ones that lack are the ones it's speaking. Exactly. Yeah, right. It's like, a, I w- like I said, I'm always preaching to this guy. And what Sheikh uh, uh, Sayyid Jawad. Jawad said the other day. He always says this. He's like, people want to walk around and spread the, uh, show off their knowledge in Islam. At the end of the day, you know what Islam is? It's or any religion. I, I always say this is a basic. Uh, it's it's a moral guidance, right? Yeah, right. And if you are if you're morally correct and you're a good person, and everything else comes from me, in my opinion, that's a good person. That's like at the end of the day, like that's why I look for a religious person. When when I meet a religious person that skips the basic fundamentals of being. Nice yeah, person, like right? Out the window. Pillars, out the window. You're not a good person. That's like what I'm saying. You're hypocritical to your very. It doesn't. Faith. Yeah, hi- right. There's no point of the five pillars at that point. <laughs> and that's very common in Dearborn. Yeah, absolutely. Well, not course. in Dearborn in general. And I'm sorry. In um, general, amongst all religions. Yeah, tattoos with um, Islam <coughs> Ali on your shoulder. And yeah. next question. Yeah. Next question. Uh, is there, is there, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we cannot answer that question right now. Uh, another. Real, there's so much. So talk. So, most of them are very rated R. We can't. We can't even describe them. Uh, you guys lean more on the liberal or conservative side? I don't even know what I am, to be honest. <coughs> with you. I swear to God. 
I answer the damn question. I, I used to was, say I was more conservative. I was a bit more liberal, I think, when I was younger. Well, when I was younger, yeah, I can always. I say think I was that's liberal. with everybody as you age. As I, you I, 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 I'm, I have, I have a neutral stance depending on what you ask. I can't really label myself a conservative because I don't agree with everything conservative. So, Harajli Har- Har- yeah, said say libertarian, a little bit of both. Liberty. I say yeah, a little bit of both. I think I'm a little bit of both. Th- listen, uh, yeah, I don't. It's, it's I, think a tough I don't know enough about politics for me to like. It's not politics. Well, I, I, I hate. It can be. It can be even with your. It can be with like anything. Uh, your yeah. personal views, right? Like you're conservative with how you go about your day. Yeah, it just it just sucks that like. Your personal views are going to be compared to what the politician thinks. You know what I mean? So, like, say for example, your personal views would classify as conservative to the general public, but is that really conservative? To you, to yeah. yourself, you know what I'm saying. That's what's shitty. That like it's already pre-labeled and predetermined. You know. Yeah, what a I mean? lot of people too. Like oh, like when they see, I guess Muslims, the way they are, they're, they're like, conservative. Oh, they're conservative, but, but in reality, us, some of us are like we're, we're not, not conservative, conservative at all. You yeah. know, we're not we're not conservative enough. If anything, how do you, you guys know? fast for thirty days? Uh, yeah, I don't even know how that's conservative. Yeah. Though, <laughs> 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 Next, minorities. LOL. You guys are a bunch of Arabs. You guys are not. not, not you guys are not the majority in Dearborn. Mm-hmm. Or minority? No, we're not the minority not, in Dearborn. It said you guys are the majority in Dearborn. Why you guys consider yourself minority? Right. Well, I mean, understand. last time I checked, I don't think this was for fucking Dearborn only. Yeah. yeah I need to get the hell out of the gutter. Nationwide. <laughs> no, it's not. Like, it's it's a podcast. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, it's you know what I mean? Yeah, but we Dearborn. are minorities in America. Yeah, I know that, but like whoever, whoever. I don't know if we're a majority yet in Dearborn either. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're we are. Dearborn. Over fifty yeah. percent. Are yeah, you crazy? I'm certain, yeah. I don't know. Check. No, we are. We are. We are. It's just um, signs are it all in Arabic. It doesn't mean anything. No, 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 it, yeah, it does. Some they go to downtown Detroit, Mexican town. It's, it's in some some people, Mexican. Some people just need to get their heads out of the gutter. Uh, yeah, this, Detroit. I mean, this podcast is not linked to you know a specific geographical area between fucking Warren and Tyreman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, it's, it's definitely. Like, yeah, obviously we started in Dearborn, but it's not designed for Dearborn. You, you feel me? Like no, TCD, yeah. for example. TCD is specifically focused on Dearborn. There's only Dearborn news. They're not going to give you news from fucking Illinois. Unless an Arab is involved. <laughs> <laughs> All right? But, well, like, for the most it. part, it's supposed to be news only for the city of Dearborn. This podcast not only for the city of Dearborn. We don't only advertise in the city of Dearborn. And just the city of Dearborn, the majority of it happens to be our following because that's where we raise, that's where we grow up, that's where our guests are from. Yeah. Doesn't mean we're from Dearborn. What's next? Well, th- we're done on questions. Are we? Yeah, I'll have the thing is I'm a, I'm gonna have it summed up where in the end of the every episode we'll go over the topics. That was just a little like taste of it. What we could yeah. get because that last one I posted, we got a lot, uh, bro. I'm, I'll die to find out who sent some of the questions and and then uh, we got a lot of questions. As some rated R, like yeah, and rated R statements. In you. No, it's, I'm straight. Um, oh, there's a lot of nasty shit, bro. Yeah, there's a lot of wild stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was just a little <laughs> taste of what we're gonna do in the future, right? <laughs> So, Thurg, would you consider yourself a religious human? Uh, I mean, going back to what we said, what's religious? I yeah. like the topic. I don't know why. I like getting people's perspectives on it. On I what? mean, do I? L- I don't know. I mean, I uh, like on what? to hold myself to a spiritual standard. Um, okay. Am I always on that standard? Probably not as much as I would like. I, I want to bring someone. Like, man, yesterday I watched uh, Sayed uh, Jawad's. Uh, Lecture on night three a really, you gotta watch it. Sounds have you like ever heard amazing. of? Have it's you ever amazing. heard of the good person complex? This rings a bell, but no. Okay, so the good person complex is very simple. It was like it was an experiment that was done back in the day, and uh, so they would take I think they took like a hundred people at random, and they would ask all it was just one question, right? So they'd have to fill out a survey before, all right, and based on like the survey, they would see if you qualify for the experiment, and it was very simple. The whole process took like two minutes it was it was pretty simple they would sit you down and they'd ask you are you a good person that was it you didn't have to give an explanation you don't say it's just simple, simple yes or no That's, that, was, that was at the minimum so you if, if you wanted to give an explanation on why you think you're a good person and why you don't think you're a good person you're allowed to but the basic but at the very minimum all what was required was either a yes or no answer okay and the majority of people that said yes these are the people that ended up based on the survey were not good people what would you answer my, my, I thought about that. So in my opinion, I would say I don't know what a good person is. And if I do have the answer, I wouldn't think I'm there yet. I still have more to learn. I feel like that's what I would, that's what I would yeah. say. Going that's me, though. If it was yes or no, then you'd have to answer yes. No, if they ask no, you no, a no, 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 question. No, 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 no. Just hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So if I ask you if you're a good person, you'll say no? No, if no, no. If no, just hear me out. Yes no. So no, no, right, right, right. Things, so, right. You should yeah, be able so, to say no. Right, so exactly. So, like, my answer would lead more towards no, okay? 
Just yes or no, you would answer no? It would have to lean more towards no, yeah, because you're my answer is not a yourself. yes. Huh? I said you're hard on yourself. Yeah, I know, but based on my answer that's given, it would lean more towards a no. And but based off what standards? I feel like that's more so probably you. Well, no, it's based on yourself. No, they're literally asking you to think about it. Yeah, you, can, you can take as I much feel time like we to all think have as an possible. internal compass that tells you if you're a good person or not. Yeah. Right, but like my, my opinion doesn't come from a view of like deeds or people I've like, you know, let's say mistreated. It comes from a view of like, what do I think it takes to be a good person? I don't know what that is. I can't define that, right? Well, so because, because I can't define that, I can't label myself as that. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Like how am I get, for example, religious. It goes back to religious. How are you going to say you're religious if you don't really know what that is? You don't know what it is, so you say, well, I'm not really religious, but I'm doing my best to be the best person I can be. That's typically yeah. the answer, right? Yeah. Kind of the same way. I guess you can go by society standards to answer those questions. Yeah, right? you can. You if, can. But like you If know. you want to get technical, you can be like, you know, what exactly is a good person? Right. But in reality, everybody has like a general perception of what Of a good what person. they think is good. Right, yeah. right, right. If you had a more in-depth answer, that was you, that's how you'd answer it? If in depth, w- am I given a yes or a no? No, yes or no. You're just like, hey, are you a good person? I... My actual answer was literally what I gave. I, I literally, like, I read it and I thought, it, it took me like 15 minutes to really think about it. That's a good question. Are you a good person? It's like that's It's just like asking, are you happy? I think it's a nice it's like question. Like are you happy is a whole different one. Yeah, I would answer that as in, like, I, 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 you know what I would answer? Like, I don't know. What I don't know happy? if I'm happy. What is happy? And you I'm not happy You always yet. have to go down to defining what you're asking. What exactly happy? Am I happy at the moment? Maybe. Am I happy where I'm at right now? I don't know. Is that I feel like I contentness. Mean. Like uh, content, the being content is... Um, See, say, so I, I like... You, you say that so to me sometimes, and I, I agree to it, but every time you think about that, like, you being content can slow you down, I believe. Content, you're wait, content, d- but not satisfied. Right, yeah. exactly. That's, that's, how I feel that's the way that's to put it. Though. Yeah, but that's a bodybuilder Be- talking. Huh? That's about. <laughs> I'm telling you for real. Hey, honestly, once you start lifting, you never. That's how it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're never satisfied. You never. You're nothing. Like you're nothing. nothing. In, in life. Carry that yeah. over. Like yeah. uh, okay. football got us into all this, like right? yeah. lifting. At least for us, like we, yeah, we yeah. got into football, it's all its discipline, and you know, and we carried it over. We couldn't play football anymore because we're scrubs. So like we started lifting. That also taught me, you know, into my work life or you know my social life or. Oh, yeah, so football is set up discipline for That's for why I'm a big advocate life. for young kids who get into sports. Sports, yeah. Uh, yeah. I know I'm veering off topic, but, um, like, you have to, you know, be content to where you're at so you're not always stressed, right? Like, if you're always stressing about, oh, I got to be better, I got to be better, I got to be better, you're never going to be content. Well, you're never going to enjoy the moment yeah, either. You're never going to enjoy you it. Know? You're never going to be present. Yeah. So, like, if you have – a way of looking down on yourself in a sense, like you legit get on top of yourself and just look down and be like, okay, I'm good here. Like, you're doing good, but it's not the end. Like, I'm still going to go forward. You know, like, it's still... No, it's yeah, I agree. You said that. It's kind of like I a can reflection. Agree with kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Like, like, in terms of... like, it's like So, you're saying for somebody to, like, move forward better, they have to cur- be content with you gotta where they are? got to assess where you're at, you know? Like well, you think, you think the better word would be patience? Patience is huge. Yeah, I think... Th- I, I'm talking about, like, in terms of, like, replacing content. No, because if you're patient, you know, you feel you're, me you're, though? You're, like if you say, oh, I'm being patient, that means you're not satisfied with where you're at. You're waiting, like not satisfied, you're not content with what you have. Yeah. So you're patiently waiting for something that's supposed to make you satisfied. Okay, but then again, but here's the thing, but hear me out. But then, okay, if you're content with what you have, then why do you want to keep going? You don't that's need to if saying. you're content. That's why, that's you're the point content, of content. but still hungry. Yeah, but then yeah, I, don't that's content. That, I, don't, I don't think that's content. I don't think that's content. I don't think it's content. It depends, I guess, if how you define content, right? Well, the way I define you content. You guys understand is, what I'm trying to say, though. No, like, I, right? get, I get where you're coming from. I think the definition of content is a person that works a nine to five for 20 years. They might not like where they are, they're but they don't mind them. staying because it's doing everything. Like, it's fulfilling whatever it is that they're required. For example, it, it pays the bills. No, if, if, if content means staying where you're at, I'm not with that. That's what that's I think. That's not what I'm that, saying. That's how I, d- I know, I know yeah. what you're saying, though. Content means that, like, for now, I'm happy. But it doesn't necessarily mean this is what I want the rest of my yeah. life. Yeah. Content and humbleness. Do you put that together? Content and humbleness? I think uh, they the re- go uh, side uh, by side for sure. Like if someone's content. Like the reason uh, I think humbleness goes with the good person complex. Yeah. yeah that's the more, true. more than ever. Humility. More than true. ever. Let me ask you a question. If you, let me ask you guys this. If you were to come out and identify yourself as a, this, you know, as a great person, do you, think, do you think you're humble? No. No. Would that make you humble? No. No. So, so if you call yourself a good person, you're not it humble. makes you not good. For, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I'm saying, what do you guys think? So, if I someone, think you, you see what I'm saying? I, I think you can answer okay. it in a way where, like, you come off as humble. Yeah. 
but people still get the point that like, all right, you know what, he is a good person. If you yeah. truly ask yourself, look like in the, the yeah, mirror. Yeah, of course I'm a good if person. If you look in the obviously you're gonna be arrogant. You look in the mirror and be like to yourself, are you a good person? I think uh. you can truly <laughs> answer that question. Uh. <laughs> But if someone asks you that, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's, it's different. I imagine you're in the mirror every day. Are you a, are you a I good I feel person? like it's how it's said, not what it's said, for sure, like, regarding that. Like if yeah. You, if you go, like, yeah, of course, because, you know, I helped, I donated 50 bucks yesterday. and you know, No, that's place. just like voters. Of course, you know, that's going to be a way. Where but, like, like, being, like, I don't know. It's just, like, when you're content, I feel like you're staying there and you don't want to, like, I'm all yeah. about being content, right? Or you but are? I am at the same time. I'm not like uh, Alhamdulillah for everything I have. Yeah. But at the same time, if it wasn't for I like these guys, it's I, w- doing I would yourself a disservice if you're not pushing you're not pushing yourself twenty four seven. Not twenty four seven. Like I'm saying, like it's also like, bros, life is not only work. I'm no, talking about pushing yourself. Yeah, you gotta in set goals. Aspect. Right. Yeah, set like goals. Spiritually. Yeah. yeah no, he's right. How am I as he's a husband? Right. How am I as a, yeah, yeah. a son? As, as, a as a friend? As a brother? Like, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. I'm with that. Yeah. I, I I dig that. 100%. I remember I read a book that like says like to divide your life different categories how are you as a spouse you know yeah as a brother kind of as a friend yeah. like i legit wrote down friends and like all right how am i going to make my friends like how am i going to make our group better like how are yeah. we going to grow how is you know how could you help no, your no, parents you're how right you know it's very important to think like that man yeah. you know because if, if, if you don't i mean what else do you really have to live for you know what's i mean what's the real purpose here it, like i mean you read about it all the time there are people that have boatloads of money and they're depressed lonely as shit yeah, they're not nothing care. they have no purpose no like, purpose, yeah. nothing to do. The Just them and their money. It keeps going back to, to every time I talk to him, like, oh, I want this home or what I want this or that, whatever. And I always tell him the future problem. He said, bro, if you're content or whoever you marry is content, you'll be fine. Yeah, and the sleep is uh, true. 100%. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Humble. Yeah, like, yeah. like, I always like, uh, imagine like um, the people that complain, oh, I don't want that home or I don't want that home. I want someone to be like, no, alhamdulillah, you have a home. Or, right, right, like, right, right. You right, have right. a home. Or from that aspect, you know what I mean? No, the way uh, someone answers something and the way that it, it tells you a lot about it. Hundred percent, one hundred percent. We can get disappointed in life. Like you can, like there's moments like, man, I wish I had that, but like it's not something where you dwell on it. You know? I yeah, hundred percent. People like victimize themselves and then like they start dwelling and then they like they set themselves back when if they just took it on the chin, right? And be like, okay, I didn't get it this time. Mm-hmm. Let me move forward a couple more this times. Is, and this, th- this, is, this is where you see people when they start to like compare themselves to others and like, they Social continue to depress huge, themselves. Yeah. Right, right. You know, I they get I, off it. You know, you, I, I got off and I couldn't be I happier, feel like you bro. can use it to your advantage. You can, but right. if, you're, if you're, I always tell people this. If you cannot handle social media, get off social media. If you can. I feel like if you're not content you with yourself, do not go on social media. It's just, you know, a lot of it. It's, 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 or it's like too if bad. you don't know who you yeah. are. Right? Yeah. Because then right. you're going to be like, oh, that girl's posting this. I gotta post that. That's what the guys are like. Or this guy posting that. I gotta post that. You know. Listen, it's like one of the hard, in my opinion, at least, one of the hardest things I think as as a human being is finding yourself. And it's, it's a lifelong uh, journey, right? It is. And some people are blessed; they're able to find themselves fairly, you know, immediately. Some people are not able to do that until they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s. You know, I think it's really deep work. Like it's a lot of work. A lot of work on yourself. You know, uh, you, a lot of trial and error with yourself. Yeah. Uh, it, it takes time. Um, I No one can really know if they truly find it. It's I hard, bro. Well, like, what's helping me in, in that journey, obviously, I never found myself or what I've done. That's reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading yeah. is huge. Like, I feel like growing up, we did ourselves such a disservice. Like, oh, I'm not going to read. Like, well, I'm not gonna, like, if I'm not reading for language arts, I'm not touching a book, you know? Mm-hmm. But, like, <laughs> Boy, <laughs> especially let me growing, tell up, you. growing up in the East Side, you know, like, all of us, like, we all, like, messed around. You know, we didn't yeah, really yeah. care for school. We didn't give, like, I'm not saying school itself is, I'm talking about knowledge. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You know, like reading is, I think, semi. Like I read more like outside of school than I have, you know, in school. And that There's a difference because school is telling you what to read. Y- now you, you are to the point you where like. you pick like whatever you want. You can read about yeah. comics. Right. You can read about yeah, movies. Yeah. You can read about whatever mm-hmm. you want. What do you oh, mean? When I, I was when I'm the first, I sort of got the first book I ever picked up and actually read out of high school was uh, uh, Born to Run. And when was this? In 2020, when the gyms were down, me, Harani, and third. That was a great year for everybody. I mean, that I was I w- like dig deep. Exactly. I think 2020 was the greatest year of my life. As messed up as that sounds, like I got the first home. I I, I became a runner. Something I always wanted to do. I I truly found who I thought I I, I believe like the where, what path I wanted to go to. I started reading. I started med- everything in general came together. And uh, Born to Run was the first book, and I enjoyed the hell out. Shout out to Kudur Habala. He gave me the recommendation. But uh. Yeah, like, then after that went over. Like, now I have a book. He, it's this guy, bro. This guy and uh, Kalharani. These guys pushed me, and uh, he has a book collection, but oh most man. of my recommendations are from this guy. 
Yeah, books are cool. Yeah, this guy's a huge r- book creator. Yeah. These are, you guys I have so many books. Yeah. Have so you many two books. are probably That's the biggest. Awesome. Uh, well, you know. the first thing me and my wife did, like, we were working on our house, is uh, we put bookshelves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the first yeah. thing we I, did. I have you're putting it in the living room? Yeah, fine. fine. I, Please I, don't do that. Why? Don't be those old ass hags that I, have a bunch of books there. Go in your, put it in your like, it's, your office. It's crazy. Room. No, because it's nice aesthetic wise as well, right? Yeah, it is. Obviously, we haven't read all those books. Where's the alchemist in? Oh, it's a phenomenal book. Oh, it's fantastic. Phenomenal book. It's my favorite book of all time. Phenomenal book, phenomenal book. The last line is just, it's so, it's so iconic. It's, uh, go with the, wi- oh, no, 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 it, it says, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, Fatima. That's oh, literally yeah, 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 the last yeah. line. It's Amazing. phenomenal. Phenomenal book. That was book. a great book. Yeah, I have so many, bro. That success like, Principles. Like, yeah, yeah. Book. I don't know if I've read that. I've read, so there's, um, J- Jordan Patterson's, unbelievable, 12 Rules of Life. I've, I have Peterson. the Audible, but Jordan I, Peterson, I hate yeah, the sorry. Audibles. No, no, I, I, I have, I, I have the, I have, I have the physical book. The only audio. I have to read them. Only audio. I have so many audibles, but like real. I can't focus. Did you, guys, you guys read the Forty Eight Laws of Power, Robert Greene? I was oh. in the middle of that, but I couldn't. I felt like it was so like. It was so, yeah. Like it was like. He, here's what's shitty about it. the one thing yeah, I like don't I was like about every, the book. Every <laughs> it's not the one thing I don't like about it was so it's an interesting read. It's definitely for those that are like more hungry, I guess. It doesn't line up with. I feel it's like who I no, am. it's not. It's like the way the way the book is written. It's just it's just it's nothing but comparables. It's just analogies. Yeah, yeah. With That's why I didn't like the, it. It's not, yeah, yeah. It's not really a story. It's more of an analogy. Yeah, I got that this, I didn't like, like. Law Four, and I was like, I don't know. You I feel like this it? is teaching me like how to get the best out of everybody around me. I don't yeah, know, it was weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever read Think and Grow Rich? That's a popular I one. Phenomenal book. I was recommended that. Um, I did not really. I remember a book. I was Rich Dad Poor Dad though was a great book. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. The, the That's Daniel, what got me into real estate. Too. Yeah, the Daniel Carnegie book. Uh, that has a pros and cons. Like I can Which talk about one, that. Which one? How to uh, how to uh, how to influence friends, how to influence friends and uh, how to impress. I think I listed the audible. But how to ma- basically? Uh, what, how is it? What is it again? How, how, how to, to influence to friends or how to uh, how to make friends and influence others? Whatever yeah. it is, that book is amazing. But I can. There's pros and cons. The cons is like you start to you feel like it, uh, cons as well. Like you have to. Con- I feel like people? you start picking up. It tells you what to do. It, you t- it tells you how to be like the best person, right? And it tells you the flaws of what not to do. And then once you start seeing people do those flaws, you automatically clicks in your head. Oh, this was in chapter four. Th- what not to do? And I know this person. Well, like a lot, that a lot person. of those things, like too, is like it causes us to psychoanalyze everything around mm-hmm. us. It does. That's why I didn't like about the book. Yeah. I, I liked it and didn't you like pick it. Pick and choose what exactly. Wait, like what is it called? How to influence? How to win friends and influence others? Yeah. Interesting. I'll add that. It sounds, it's huge. It sounds good. Yeah, it's it's an I've amazing. Heard of it's it. an amazing book. If if you come at it from like is it Andrew Carnegie or Daniel no, Carnegie? Da- is it Daniel Carnegie? It's Daniel Carnegie. Okay. Uh, sure. and the, uh, if you wa- if you read it from an open mind and do not because uh, it's breaking the glass. This goes back to it. Right. The second you it start pointing out flaws and they're like, oh, I do that. I do that. I do. That. I'll stop doing that. And the second you start seeing someone else do that, you're like, oh, okay. Now there I is know a this uh, is. there's a very inter- it's kind of fucked up, but it's a great book. It's not really a, I don't know what the hell you would call it. I read it when I was in college, novel? but I ended up, no, it's, 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 it's fucked up. Uh, uh, it, I read it when I was in undergrad. It's called uh, The Leviathan by uh, Thomas Hobbes. He's a philosopher. And essentially, by the time you finish it, you realize it's not really a book. It's more of a guide uh, to, uh, uh, um, uh, to ruling a people. Ruling people? Ruling people. So this book was written by Thomas Hobbes, who would give it to, like, kings and rulers at the time, and they would use this book as a guide to run their kingdom. Oh, wow. It's phenomenal. No, it's it's a tough read, though. It's very hard to understand. You have to read it a couple times. It's I feel like it lines up with the 48 Laws of Power, kind of. It does, but it's not an analogy. It's literally, like, it's, it's bro, like, it li- so it's based on this guy's philosophical opinion. He'll tell you, um, you know, how your people are going to be in this situation, what you have to do, you know, to get them in line, what kind of punishments you have to do, um, what kind of education you should give them. It's people crazy. Respond to and it's crazy, bro. It's a literally a guide for a dictator. That's what it's written. It's written for a dictator. I wonder if Saddam it's had a It's copy. unreal. If you guys just read it, you just, it's crazy. It's crazy shit that people actually came up with this garbage back then, but it's phenomenal. I just loved it. I wonder what kind of books Haraj reads. I don't know. For sure, this guy read like something about 9-11. Bro, Haraj <laughs> has a book, right, that's not that allowed like in America. What do you mean? He sends the PDF to everyone. It's called The Cold War or The Bad War. And uh, it's illegal. They stop. Like they stop. They you can't ship it here. <laughs> it's it completely. It, was it basically explains how Hitler was a fantastic person, <laughs> and how Hitler was a great. Well, just, it's true intention. <laughs> and uh, no, it's not like uh, you can own it. It's just you can't like uh, they can't sell it. Oh, okay. And uh, Haraji, he, Haraji reads a lot, by the way. I know he does. No, he he's very lot. knowledgeable. 
But he's just like, obviously. We don't know where his knowledge is coming from. We don't know where the how. Um, like oh, it's there. It's there. We just don't know where it came from. We don't know where it came from. <laughs> what are they called? That we used to li- link off uh, your essays and stuff, a bibliography? Cliff Notes. No. Fuck Notes? No, it's, it's when you write an essay back in high school, the last page has to be all the links. Citations. Links. Yeah, I don't know. I used to put it in on Google. I forgot. You used to like write up. You have to references? reference references, but like, what is that page called? Whatever it is, we don't know where her citation Horizon. page. No, I think it's called something else that we used to call it. But um, okay, guys, uh, you guys got a little taste of Thurgood Alshera, the uh, real estate personal trainer, electrical engineer, uh, human. Uh, Thurgood Alshera. Anything else you want to say to the guests before we wrap up? The guests or to you guys? I'm sorry. To no, no, to the to the to the viewers. We know who you are. Keep striving to be the best you can be. That's it. That's all it is, huh? All right, Appreciate guys. If you guys, guys need anything with this guy, DM mm-hmm. him at Thurgood Malshera Realty. Uh, his personal page, Thurgood Malshera, or uh, Built with Grit is a personal fitness thing. So at one time, again, the sponsor for today's episode, thank you very much for sponsoring the episode, to Charlie's Construction. The logo will be right here. Charlie's Construction is a beast. If you need anything done in renovations without anything in the house, this guy knows this stuff. Go to his page, Charlie underscore construction. He literally goes uh, shot for shot on his stories of what he does in everyone's houses. He's always, always catching flaws in people's like these boaters that mess up. This guy's always coming in, uh, catching the flaws of other contractors, pointing them out. He's top of the line. And um, yeah, and uh, anything merch available, DM us. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. Yeah, and please uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. For the love of God, like we, it, it really helps us when you do. Like, if you guys really want to support us, please like, comment, subscribe. Exactly. Please. And if you really want to support us, support our sponsors. Again, thank you guys enough for tuning in for the support. We've been gone for a decent amount of time. Me and Hawili have been really busy dealing with a lot of things. And uh, yeah, criminals get busy in the summer. People, forgive me. And people get cranky when their AC goes out. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so we'll be right. All right, guys. So, uh, uh, God bless you and uh, stay classy. Take care.